Christ the King Sunday, Year A, from the book of Ezekiel, I will feed them with justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week focus on Christ's coming as a shepherd king who distributes justice to his people. Ezekiel's shepherd is not the gentle provider of the 23rd Psalm, but rather a fierce protector coming to sort things out between oppressors and the oppressed. And there are two problems to be solved. First, we learn that the flock has wandered into all sorts of places in a time of clouds and thick darkness. Some are injured and weak. The shepherd must bring back the flocks of his pasture and tend to their needs. But then we learn about an internal problem turns out some members of the flock had initiated the scattering by pushing with flank and shoulder and butting with their horns at all the weak animals until they scattered them far and wide. Jesus' account of the Son of Man coming in glory to judge the nations picks up right where Ezekiel's vision leaves off. We see the shepherd king dividing the tame from the unruly members of the flock according to the flock's obedience to the rules of provisioning the hungry and thirsty, clothing the naked, welcoming the stranger, and visiting the sick and the imprisoned. We hear in our epistle that the hope to which God has called us is made manifest in the resurrection, where Jesus, who hungered and thirsted, hanging naked, beaten, and condemned upon the cross, rose to be fed and clothed welcomed by his disciples and exalted into vindicated glory in heaven. We enact this same hope and this same working. We lay claim to the glorious inheritance that Jesus has prepared for us among the saints, the prophets, and all the faithful who have gone before us whenever we participate in this feeding, this clothing, this welcoming, and this visiting. So as we look around us at the chaos of our own times, let us remember that we are all various members of the same flock, striving to be obedient to the one shepherd, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever.